So Brick Fair Virginia 2023 is over. This year was my first year coming as an exhibitor, so I did bring a mock, which was a Hoth Imperial Base Camp type thing. And yeah, so I want to do a Hoth mock because I just had the pieces to do it and the resources to do it. I thought it would be the easiest thing to do. Uh, there were a few things, other things I wanted to do, but it just, just couldn't happen because I didn't have the resources for it. But Brick Fair Virginia 2023 was really good on the exhibitor end. On the first private day, just went over there and set up and just met a few other people at our table. Then on the second day, we just went around and went to the yard sale and bingo along with my other friend, which was really cool. And it was a really fun experience and I definitely would go again as an exhibitor in 2024 more than I would just go as like a regular attendee in the public. So I did get a few things. It's not too much, but I thought I would just make a video about some of the things I got from Brick Fair 2023. So let's just see here. So I just know this, know this in a specific order, but this is like the first purchase I made. And this was a 2010 Hoth Snow Trooper Battle Pack. And you know, I thought about adding this to my original build, but I saw this I do like Hoth. I thought it was really cool and it was really good price for $12 and it was sealed too. It was, I thought that was one of the better items in my opinion. Really good deal at the yard sale. The next thing, I'm just going to pull these out randomly. Well, I guess this is the little thing they give you once you go. It's a little pamphlet guide. So just once you open it, it shows you the whole program and stuff like that. And on the very back it shows the name listing. It also shows your, like the map of the whole convention. So I was like around here in the Star Wars area. And yeah, on the back here they have all these names. Don't wanna put my name on camera, but I'll just show you guys what it looks like. Let's have all these names of people that exhibited from like other countries and just around America as well. Next thing we have, Oh yeah, this is another set I got at the yard sale. It was a, I wanted to get a Toy Story set, but a lot of them were too expensive and I thought I was gonna come in not getting any, but Toy Story Green Army Men, like kind of like a battle pack, but not really. A really cool set. I did end up building this one, so I can just show you guys here. But yeah, what I first got was like all these green pieces and I thought that looked really cool. So all the Army Men are the same. I saw the people just selling the army men for like $20 or $15, but the whole set was I got for $15 at the yard sale, which was really cool. So there's a few more guys. This guy gets his leg broken, and then I think my favorite one is the medic that helps him, which has he's the only other unique figure in the set because it has like a backpack and like he has a little thing on his helmet. And yeah, the rest is just just little accessories and stuff like a like a hospital carrying bed, like gun, and some like things for the guys to stand on. But yeah, this is what the set would have looked like in the box probably. But yeah, really cool set for fifteen dollars, and it's basically brand new. It wasn't sealed, but it was brand new. It was just in a pile of other boxes, and I just saw all the green. And I was doubting myself whether it was actually it or not, but it was, and I thought that was pretty cool. I did get this Yoda. I traded one of my snow troopers and I ended up getting this Yoda. No, wait. No, this was a uh, separate trade. I got an older Yoda that I didn't, and I traded it for this one. And it probably wasn't, but it was, this isn't just part of the trade. Hold on, there's more. And also this new gun ray with a pink blaster, like injected molded blaster somewhere. But I'll just bring it out in, the, in a bit. But yeah, I got basically got one minifigure for these two. This is like a staple from like the Yoda Chronicles show and I did think I could probably trade this to one of my friends. It's a really cool figure. It's basically brand new. And this is also like a basically brand new, like old older Yoda. Yeah, that's one of the things I got for a trade. Next thing. So next thing would be this little minifigure I made while I was over there. It's like a Brick Fair Virginia 2023 cologne. But yeah, like the I just got this torso, then I got this clone as well, just separately, that's built it over there and put on my brick badge. And yeah, I thought that was really cool. I do still have that original torso for the clone, 
but yeah, this was probably this is like one of my I think this is my first minifigure purchase over there at the yard sale. But yeah, this was another again another really cool thing. And this is the minifigure I ended up trading with a regular snow trooper from my mock, and it wasn't just that. This is a I think this big minifigure is valued at around twenty four twenty five dollars. It only came in one set. It came in the bounty hunter pursuit. Got this from a guy and trade it from a snow trooper, from a lot of other things, but yeah, I'll make a video on that in a little bit. But this is the minifigure I ended up trading up for, and it is a really, it's a pretty cool minifigure. I did want to trade up to a Clone Army Customs, but you know what, this is still really cool. I, can't, I honestly cannot believe I traded up a snow trooper to this. I will make a video on that. But yeah, once you, if you guys are ever going to go and exhibit to Brick Fair, you should always you should try to uh you should try to do trading just like with friends on your table or friends you bring next thing i got was this blue halo guy i've been playing a little bit of the older halo recently and this i just saw this i thought you know i always liked this even before i played halo i always i always thought these were cool those like my the first custom made figures i ever knew existed but yeah a little bit sharp on here but this is pretty cool Next thing I got the yard sale the on the last day was this Darth Maul pen. I've literally just been using this for my schoolwork and stuff. It does write really well. You can also like replace the ink capsule, so this isn't just like a one-time thing. It was really cool seeing this over there. And they also had a Stormtrooper one, but the Darth Maul one is just so much more cooler. But yeah. Next I also got uh, Beyond the Brick sticker from when I met Beyond the Brick. They were just happened to walk by and I was talking to them for a bit. And whoops. And they just happened to give me this sticker over here. So these are like a few tiles I got. So including the... Let's just take this out here. Including the clone one I got on my badge. I saw this one guy had a giant badge of like all the Star Wars characters. I asked where he got from. He said, "Oh, I could just sell you some, and some he some extra ones he didn't use." So I got just a regular Phase One clone, Jar Jar Binks. Also got a Tie Fighter pilot and R two D two. Also got my own tile. Or I have a camera could focus on that, but I did get my own tile, which is pretty cool. And yeah, there's one more thing, which is this Brick Fair. Lego pencil. But yeah, that is not it. You guys thought I got I you guys thought that was it. That's not it. I ended up getting one more thing, which I think is the coolest thing. I got this on the last day, which is I don't know if I should probably take it out of the bag. I think I'll just take it out of the bag. I did end up getting this. It's like a prototype C3PO. It's like a dark purple. Whoops. I don't know what what to describe this as. It's just a cool looking C3PO. It's not it is official Lego. But yeah, it's like one of the, you guys probably have seen a few of these, it's like a prototype. Prototype, it's just like Lego messing around with a few of the elements and they just molded a C-3PO out of it. Pretty sure this came like a gingerbread house, like one of the windows, that's like the type of material this is. So if you know that set, then this is what this is like, kind of. But actually I'm not sure, I'm not, I don't think I've ever seen this plastic or whatever this is used for a minifigure ever. It just looks so cool. I'm trying to like create a shadow so you can see what it kind of looks like. It's more like a dark purple. And you can kind of see it in the it's like hard light. Let me just put this down here so you guys can see it better. Yeah, it looks like that in person. But yeah, this was just one of the cooler. This is probably the coolest thing I got. And yeah, it did come. This is probably the trade I was mentioning earlier. It was like, this is officially, again, this is official Lego Blaster. I can't get on camera but this is just an injected molded blaster like this never came in a set i think they just do like a little prototype thing but yeah that this was the coolest thing in my opinion and the highlight for me was highlight item anyway now this is what all the stuff looks like i'll probably make a few more videos i didn't like record too much at brick fair but i did record a few things i will put those up in a bit but yeah, that's it.